Hey guys, so I'm on my way to the grocery store because my dad's birthday is tomorrow. So I need to get a few things to make a cake for him as well as an ice cream to go with it. And I also have a few things that I need to pick up. So I'm gonna head to the store and do that real quick. And then I'll show you guys me making the cake tomorrow, but I do have just one problem, and that is that tomorrow is one of his work from home days, and we need the kitchen to make the cake, and he's probably going to walk in the kitchen and ask us what we're up to, and there's kind of no good answer I can give him that keeps it a surprise. So, wish us luck with that. Because that'll be something that my brother and I need to figure out how to do. The best thing I can come up with is set up the diffuser between the kitchen and where he's going to be working. And we're going to diffuse purification. That way making the cake won't stink up the house. Well, not stink up the house because it'll be a good smell. But like so that he won't be able to smell it to from the home office and therefore he won't get suspicious about what we're doing. <laughs> but that's the best thing I can come up with. So, wish us luck guys. Hey guys, so I'm in the baking aisle getting the stuff to make the cake for my dad and he likes yellow cake with chocolate frosting and he also really likes the chocolate and peanut butter combination. So. Though not the healthiest, I'm getting it anyway because it's his birthday and that's what he likes. I'm getting him this plastic yellow cake mix and I took this creamy chocolate frosting for him and of course I also got these blue and green candles for him and I want to decorate it with something chocolatey, you know, peanut buttery, like peanut butter chips, unwrapped Reese's cups, or peanut m and so, This is what we're working with. I can't decide whether I want to do one of these or some combination thereof. So, I'm going to text my brother and ask him for his input on this one. What does he want to do? So, my brother texted back that he wants to use the unwrapped mini Reese cups to decorate the cake with, so we're gonna go with that. And we also need to pick out a chocolate and or peanut buttery ice cream for him. And I was really surprised. I'm in the ice cream aisle right now and it doesn't look like there's an ice cream flavor that's both chocolate and peanut butter. It's either one or the other. So I'm gonna text my brother again and ask if he wants to do chocolate or peanut butter. So my brother chose chocolate ice cream to go with this cake, so that's what we're going to go with. And now I'm going to quickly get my stuff and then check out. And then when I get home, I'll show you guys what I got. And I also want to show you guys this, because apparently there's a new company that makes plant-based meat. And all of these are also gluten-free, which is very rare. It's called Pure Farmland. So that will be on my radar to try at some point. I still have some plant-based meat in the freezer at home. And just kind of needing to clear some space in the fridge and the freezer. So I won't be getting any of that this time. But I definitely will at some point. As promised, I'm now going to show you my haul of the things that I got from the grocery store. You guys already saw the stuff I got to make the cake, so I'm not going to show you that again. That's already put away. But anyway, I got a squeezed tube of garlic because we we're running pretty low on garlic. And some curry paste, some hummus, and tofu because we're all out of all three of those and I like to have that on hand. Well, the hummus not really the specific flavor. I just kind of like to have one or two on hand at all times. And I like to try different flavors. So I decided to try this one this time. 
and the tomato paste we need for an experiment because as part of the things I've been showing my mom with Young Living, I also want to show her how to fight stains. And tomato paste is a very common stain that can be pretty tough to get out the conventional way. So we're going to take a rag out of the rag pile and we're going to use tomato paste and a few other things that stain really easily. And we're going to stain the rags with those things so that way I can teach her how to get them out. So that'll be fun. All right, so now I'm taking the dog for an extra sunset walk this evening because it is very spring-like spring -like here today. Not sure how well you can hear because of that motorcycle that just flew by, but it's really beautiful out tonight and I do not want to waste it. And I feel like I kind of did for much of today because, you know, I've been really busy with filming and editing footage today on my unexpected day off from work. I've kind of had a little bit to catch up on and then I just got the surprise day off. So I've been using much of today for that. But I wanted to make sure that because it was just such a beautiful day out today you know, that I got out at around sunset time. You can kind of see through the trees. I'll zoom in a little bit. Such a beautiful view. So I'm taking Lily Dog along with me. Lily, say hi to the camera. Hey guys, so I wanted to end today's vlog by showing you guys a little life hack since I finally got my ER today and unboxed it for you guys in another video that by the time you're watching this is already up on my channel. So if you guys saw that video, you'll see that I got the Everyday Oils Essential Rewards Kit, and that includes the Panaway Blend, which also comes in the Premium Starter Kit, and it's a blend of clove, wintergreen, peppermint, and helichrysum. And what this is good for is really relieving any type of pain. And I like to use it on my hands because long hours of typing at a computer or holding a pencil can lead to your hands cramping up really bad and I also use it when I'm having menstrual cramps like really it's just your do-it-all substitute to for Tylenol, Advil, all that sort of stuff so this is the old one I have that's pretty much empty and as you and as you guys can see, there's just a roller top on that. I just, after I got down to half of this one, I stopped diluting it every time I was using it and just added fractionated coconut oil to the bottle because it's a one-to-one -one ratio and then just popped the roller on that. But now that this one's empty and I have a new one, I'm just going to pop the roller and pop the tops off of both of them pour half of the new one into the old one and then top both of them off with the fractionated coconut oil which I have right here and I'm realizing that I forgot to get another roller fitment for the other one so I'll have to fix that after I get done filming this clip but in the interest of letting this be a one take clip I'm just going to show you me putting the roller top on once and then if you guys need to see it again you can rewatch. So you just pop this little thingy off the new bottle and I'm just going to pour crap it's spilling everywhere. So now they're pretty much even, so I'm just 
going to top them both off with the coconut oil. Now they're both pretty much good to go, so I'm going to take one of them and put this roller top on it, and you just put it on and then press it down until it snaps, and then put the black lid on it. And I'm going to do the same with the other one after I turn this clip off. So that is the end of today's vlog, so thank you guys so much for watching, and all my social media and referral links are down in the description box below. If you guys want to check that out, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Love you guys.